knee cartilages, knee meniscus, whatever you call it, injuries to the structure are very common, especially if you play sports where there are twisting and cutting movements. Sadly, the pressure to return to the game often means that injuries to the meniscus are not correctly managed, and the long-term outcome is often poor. This course puts the short-term and long-term issues into real perspective, so that you can make the right decisions early on and understand exactly what to expect. The course will explain the mechanisms of injury and the types of injury and put it all into anatomical context for you. Surgical and non-surgical options will be discussed and the long-term outcomes of living without an adequate meniscus will be explained in detail. Let me tell you briefly about myself. My name is Sheila Strover. I'm a medical doctor and I've worked in association with knee surgeons and physiotherapists for many years, managing a knee clinic, attending clinical meetings and assisting with educational courses there. I also helped to establish a charitable foundation to teach young surgeons about keyhole surgery of the knee and to teach young physiotherapists about rehabilitation. For me personally, however, the crux was the establishment of the Knee Guru website and bulletin board, where over the years we've gathered together a huge community of patients and clinicians into one space to share our knowledge anywhere in the world. This kind of online course offers a new intimacy when it comes to teaching and learning, especially because video brings you into such close contact with the tutor. I've tried hard to use engaging methods to illustrate the content and highlight key points of interest. I've also offered the more advanced student extra resources in the form of online links and downloadable documents to add to the course content without overwhelming the main course messages. The discussion area also allows for expansion and clarification of the information and I enjoy being actively involved there too. So, although this is marked as a beginner's course, I'm confident in saying that physiotherapists, nurses, medical students and even doctors will find something of interest here and some key messages to take away.